Today's look is Giselle in her Act 2 form. By that point in the ballet, she has died and materialized as a Vili, so I really wanted to keep the skin and lips very, very pale and the eyes very, very dark. The lighting in this act is also very dark and very blue, so I didn't want to use any strong colors, just very, very neutral, so that it will read like a Vili from the audience. Because of the neutral eyes of this look, it could also be worn for any other role, so long as you liven up the cheeks and lips a bit. I'm going to start with a pancake foundation that is lighter than my skin tone to really give me that dead Giselle look. Now I will explain this further in another tutorial, but make sure you get your face, your neck, your arms, and if you're going to be dancing, any place that your costume doesn't cover, because you want to have an even skin tone. Next I'm going to set the pancake foundation with a translucent powder from Laura Mercier. Again, make sure you cover all of the makeup completely. Now because of the blue based lighting in Giselle, as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm going to contour my face with a purple blush. This really accentuates the pale skin, so make sure you get your cheekbones, your temples, and under your chin. I'm going to start with a white eyeshadow as a base and apply it all over my lid and up into the brow. Now I'm going to contour my eyes with a medium gray shadow. So I just work that up into the crease and into the outer corner of the eye. Taking a black liner, as always, I'm going to line my top lash line and wing it out to the side. Now for Giselle, you can create a very strong wing or a very mild wing. It's entirely up to you, but I did mine fairly strong. Now I'm going to take a smoky gray liner and just line halfway up into the crease. This gives you the dark contour without being so harsh that you look like you have black holes for eyes. Now I'm going to take a charcoal eyeshadow, or the medium gray I used before, and blend this line out. This time go all the way up into the crease. Now I'm going to take the same gray eyeliner I used in the crease and line my lower lash line. Make sure you line all the way from the inner corner and connect it to the black line you created earlier. Now I'm going to take the charcoal eyeshadow and blend this line out. The purpose of this is to create a dark eye without it being so incredibly harsh. And now for the usual. Curl your lashes, apply your favorite mascara, and yes, of course, the false lashes. Because I want to keep this look pale and eerie, I'm not gonna use any blush. So I'm going to take a nude lip liner and line my lips. You can really use any nude liner for this, just so long as it complements your skin tone. I'm going to fill in this line with a complementing lipstick and then I'm going to use a nude lip gloss just to give my lips a hint of sheen. This look is all about the eyes, which is why I kept everything else to a minimum. You could also wear this makeup for Odette, but I will be doing a separate tutorial on her. This was very much requested from all of you, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.